Hello, I'm Helen Robinson with So Kind of Wonderful. Welcome. We're glad you joined us today. Today we are working on Mod Pineapples and it uses the Quick Curve Ruler. Welcome. Today we're going to be working on Mod Pineapples. Mod Pineapples is a fun quilt to make. It is all made with this basic pineapple block and then some little quarter square units that we will be making. A fun thing about this quilt is I made it for my daughter when she graduated from BYU Hawaii. She said she wanted a pineapple quilt. This was almost a year ago, but she has yet to actually own this quilt. Since I decided it was a fun pattern and I should make a pattern and a video and share it with all of you. So let's get started making the Mod Pineapple Quilt. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on our Mod Pineapple block. The pattern does a good job. Things are in color and walks you through the cutting techniques. Here's our finished block. Let's first break it down and first start with building these curved units. You can see I already have one of my curved units started. So we're going to make another one. So the first thing the pattern tells you to do is take five by tens. And here we have some five by ten fabric. I have two pieces because I want this to have a little bit of a scrappy feel. So I want different fabrics in there. So five by tens, we're going to position our ruler on our fabric. And first thing we do is center between the one and the 11. That's 10 inches and our fabric is 10 inches long. And our left edge of fabric is on the three and three fourths line. So here I have the fabric on three and three fourths on the ruler. Notice I turned my mat over so that we're not competing with the lines. So you can see that I'm measuring off the ruler. It's still centered between the 1 and the 11. We're going to use our regular rotary cutter. We're going to go ahead and cut in that curved slot. Now let's save this. That's a piece we're going to use for our pineapple. Now let's shift our ruler. And it says to put this point here and here on your ruler on the five inch marks. Now again, we want to keep it centered between one and 11. And those points are on the five here and the five here. And then go ahead and cut in your curved slot. This is your discard piece. So now we have Here's our pineapple we're going to make. Here's this piece here. So let's swap out some of these fabrics. And let's keep this one. So we'll make it like that. And we need to get one more curved piece. We need to get this outside piece. So that we make with a three and a half by 10. And we position our quick curve ruler on it. Always center first, so we're centering between the 1 and the 11. And our fabric edge, our left edge of our fabric, is on the 3 inch line. Now we take our regular rotary cutter, cut in your curved slot. This is your discard, and you're saving this piece. So let's get our three pieces for our half of our pineapple. So this is A, this is B, and this is C. And on sample four, we're going to sew. They want us to put, we always put concave on the bottom. So this will be your seam. Flip this over. 
So here we have A on B, we have a quarter inch tail. We're going to sew this curved seam. Sew a couple anchor stitches. Now hold your fabric one piece in each hand. As it feeds, I'm bringing them together. Notice I have my right hand managing my bottom fabric. Try not to pull on the bias edge here, but manage it from the back side. So there you can see we have a nice smooth seam. And now let's add this side. So concave is on the bottom, convex is on top. We're going to leave a little quarter inch tail. We're going to do the same thing again. It just takes practice. You just have to keep doing it to get some muscle memory for your fingers. Go slow at first. Trust that the bias will ease. Remember, your ends don't have to be perfect because we're always going to square up our block. Let's press for this. The pattern actually tells you to press all the same direction. So we're going to press towards our focus away from our background. Notice I'm using some steam, I'm pressing on the back. Flip over, press on the front. Now we're going to square this to a four by nine and a half. And we want to put our quarter inch mark on this first curved seam. So I'm, I'm going to add some dots to my ruler that will really help. Go in on the top of your ruler a quarter of an inch and put a dot. Here I have one already. Now this is going to be a nine and a half inch block. So go down to the nine and a half inch line and go in a quarter of an inch and put a dot. So we have those dots. Let's position it on our block. Here we have the dot on the curved seam and then down here on the nine and a half, you just put it on the curved seam. So let's trim two sides. Use your rotary cutter, trim two sides. Rotate your block. Put your quick curve ruler back on. This time just look at your four and your nine and a half inch marks. Put your trimmed edges on those and trim off whatever is left. matches with the one I made earlier. Now to finish this and to get the body of our pineapple, we just need to add a one and a half by nine and a half inch piece. And this is just straight sewing. So let me go ahead and sew that. So I've gone ahead and sewed that strip on. Let's sew our other side on. So now we're, our center is sewn in. You can see I pressed the seams toward the center. So we have the body of our pineapple done. 
So let's look at making the topper. So our topper is made using half square triangles that you make and square to three and a half. And let's lay these out. So you have two two by threes. This is a two and a half by three. This is a three by three half square triangle. And then there's one here not squared. I was just going to show you real quick how to square when they're oversized. And we always have you make it a little oversized because then if you're not exact or if your fabric stretches when you press, you still square it down to the right size. So this is larger than three by three. And I'm just putting, um, I'm using my quick curve ruler and I've got the point up here on the seam and I go down to the three three here and that is on my um, three three mark. That's where I'm gonna trim to. So then I just trim two sides. Rotate your block. This time just line up those trimmed edges on your threes and cut off whatever's left. And there is our pineapple topper. And then I wanted to show you that all of the seams are pressed open. We'll move those out of the way. All of the seams here are pressed open. It really helps joining everything. And then this seam where it joins my main body of my pineapple, I pressed down. It kind of it just gives some uh, dimension to the front side of your pineapple. You could also press that open. When it comes to pressing seams, please do what you feel is going to work best for your block. If it's super important, we'll tell you. There's one other little block in this pattern that I wanted to show you. There's a little quarter square unit. It's called a quarter square triangle. So it starts with, you have two three by threes that you draw a line on and sew on each side. So I'll show this. I have two three by threes. I'm going to draw a diagonal line. Sew a straight seam on each side a quarter inch away from that diagonal line. So here you can see I sewed a quarter inch away on each side. Now we cut with our rotary cutter. This gives us two blocks the same. Let's use one of these. I'm going to press the seam to one side. Here you can see I press the seam to the side. This seam is pressed to the side. Now we're going to draw a diagonal line on the wrong side of just one of those. Now we're going to put these together and nest them so that those seams, one goes this direction, the one underneath is going the opposite direction. You can actually feel with your finger that they are nested or they don't overlap. They sit right by each other. I'm going to sew a quarter inch on each side of that diagonal line. Okay. Here you can see I sewed a quarter inch on each side. Let's go ahead and cut on your drawn line. That gives me two quarter square triangle units.
And our last step in the pattern is to go ahead and square this to a two by two. And you can see I have plenty of room there to square, so I'm putting my point on the seam here and my two by two down here on the seam, diagonal seam. Trim two sides. Rotate. Line up your trimmed edges on your twos. And that is your quarter square triangle unit that you need for this pattern. So here we have our pineapple block we made. We talked about squaring up your units here and how to make the quarter square triangles. Thank you for joining me today as we worked on our Mod Pineapple Quilt and learned a little bit more about sewing curves, squaring up blocks, and using the techniques that So Kind of Wonderful uses in all of our patterns. So keep on sewing and enjoy those curves. <music>